Good morning, guys. I am going to discuss a little plot that we have here. Um, when I first saw the listing for this place, I knew right away this is where I'm going to put the, my roses. And I want to get, I'm going to get a hold of some... I'm probably saying this wrong, Rosa Ragusas, Ragasas, because they have the biggest rose hips, and I can use the flowers for rose water. I will run them through my distiller also, but when we saw the listing, I, this whole bank is really nice here. It's right, here's the front of the house, here are the driveway. And so you have this bank here in front of the barn. And um, so now I'm, number one, I'm harvesting. Look at all the raspberries. And I will harvest the baby raspberry leaves here. And we have yarrow. So I will get that. Um, I have a... Uh, what do you want to call it? Guys, help me. Thistle tincture already working, so I'll probably pull these out of here. Uh, they're going to seed anyway, so I will pull these. I have been researching these. I am pretty sure these are nettles. From what I can find, they are lipped hemp nettles, maybe split lip hemp nettles. I am researching them to see if they are comparable to the stinging nettles for my products. So if you, any of y'all out there know this, let me know. Ooh, look at these pods. What are these? Oh, this is in the thistle. These must be bugs. What do you call that, guys? I know the word and I can't think of it. So that's kind of cool looking. Uh, we have the goldenrod, which I'll harvest. I already have some, but you can never have too much goldenrod, right? And when you're harvesting the goldenrod, what you want to do is pick it here and here, here, before it's all bloomed out. The minute you start drying this, you're going to get fluff because that's what they do. And we have some more thistle and raspberries. This is vetch, and it is growing everywhere. It has really pretty, um, whoops, sorry guys, you can't see. It has really pretty purple flowers. And of course, it does look like a pea. Uh, they plant it for the pastures. The critters like it. That's a nice little rock clearing that little hiding. The birds love this area, of course, and so do the bees. I'm not sure what kind of tree I have here. I'm going to have to identify that. Anybody know? And this is from the previous owners. So I will move a lot of this I will probably mulch the gardens with it move it to back to the compost bins via the tractor probably not the wheelbarrow I know Henrika is strong but I'm not that strong so and see so I think all this area right here We'll um, fill in nicely with roses. I am not really going to tear a lot out. I am going to, like the old canes up there with the raspberries, I will take those out. Uh, number one, I believe in monoculture. The more you, I, I mean, monoculture is bad. The more you 
have different plants, the better everybody gets along, the less bugs, less diseases. This beautiful, beautiful flower is called bladder something plant, and it's invasive. Isn't that sad? Look at these little balloons. It's like a party plant. So I will be pulling all of those, and I have a lot of them, as you can see. And I think it's an adorable plant, but we will get rid of those. And we have more raspberries, more invasives. And up here, we have, I will go this route. We have the red bark dogwood. And uh, when I had NCRS out here, he said they sell these twigs. See how nice and pretty and red they are for crafts. They sell them in bundles. I've been investigating that. I have already prepped an area in the barn rafters so these can dry after I cut them, prepare them. And they will be in the store soon, guys. And we have this gorgeous flower. I don't know. I'm hitting the sun now. The sun's been out. But now that I'm filming, it's like, oh, let's get in the picture. Can you see the pretty pink flowers? See, I'm blinded by the sun. Up here, these pretty pink flowers are almost done. But um, I was also told they make a marvelous jelly. So next year, guys, that'll be in the shop. You know me, I like to make jelly out of the weeds. And it is fireweed. And I have some more. The dogwood. And we have some kind of a little, what, milkweed or something. I will have to look this up. But, and the bank gets pretty sharp. We'll go around to the other end and I'll show you what we have here. But I, I think I will just place the um, roses in here amongst this and let it go. Oh, I have, is that burdock over there? So I need to clean up. Oh, I don't know what this is. This is kind of pretty. It's probably invasive too, isn't it? And... Oh, here is the flowering. Oh, and it's about ending, too. Uh, vetch. It's very pretty. But as you can see, we have post here because this is northwest here. And the winds during the winter will come here. And this will be drifted, badly drifted. So, um, the hill is good. We will keep that going. And I will, and that's another thing. If I go ripping all this stuff out, it might erode. And we don't want to do that. Have some wonderful red clover. So, yes, that's one of the products I'm gonna, projects I'm going to do. Today's job, though, look at the raspberries is going to be harvesting. Maybe some pruning as I go. Here is the fireweed up close. It's quite marvel marvelous. Um, on my drive into town, there's a lot of this, and it's very striking. And as you, I don't know if you can see over there, the bees love it. So we will make jelly and feed the bees next year with this. Are you excited? I'm excited. So, yes, harvest, prune a bit, and identify what we don't know. Oh, a flying grasshopper. Oh, I'm like a dog, aren't I? Squirrel. Okay, guys, you have a great day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.